transform, release and vote fast for the information they've given me prior to this debate. And I'm going to quote from a vote fast report here. Dr. Rob Ralphs, a senior lecturer in criminology at Manchester Metropolitan University, has researched spice in prisons and within the homeless community. He believes that making spice class A will make no real difference to its use, but may make the situation worse. While the market for spice is at present relatively stable, with four or five different strains of the drug in circulation, he said its potential reclassification could drive innovation, leading to new strains being developed to circumvent it. Well, this is what's happened in the past. Every time, every time there's been a change in the law, the next generation has been even stronger. The big thing, the question we should be asking ourselves is, is why is the homeless and the prison populations using this drug in the first place? We should be putting money into engaging people into treatment services and trying to reduce the market. If you can reduce the market, the demand for it, then you will reduce the problem. 